What's going on guys, my name is Diamond Khan. I'm a professional Call of Duty player for the New York Subliners and you guys are watching Call of Duty League's Loadout Guides powered by Scuff. So to start things off guys, I actually use a concave stick, so you can see the regular PlayStation sticks. I find them most perf uh, best for me, you know, they fit my thumbs very perfectly. So uh, next thing we're going to start off with is the smart bumpers and the smart trinkers. You know, you got to make sure you're throwing those equipments out faster, just pulling the, the, pulling the trigger faster and aiming down those sights faster. One thing you guys will actually notice too on the back of the controller, I don't have any paddles on the back. Uh, that's due to the fact for me guys, I actually play with claw. So he has claw, you know, I can just press the A and the X, you know, all the buttons with my index finger. And now guys, let's get jump right into the loadout. So to start things off guys, I like to use the LW3 Tundra. You know, pulling the sniper on those large maps is such a good, viable thing. The first attachment I actually use is a stabilizer. Now the reason why I use a stabilizer, I can see it's 40% ideal sway control. So whether I'm going for those longs, a hard scope, you know, my sniper is not going to be moving around or swaying as much. Uh, next thing we're going to start off to is the barrel. So I use a 29.1 combat recon barrel. And for this barrel, it gives me a lot of 30% uh, bullet velocity. Now we're moving on to the under barrel right now. So I actually use the SVOD speed grip under barrel. Now the reason for this is, you know, off the break of games, I like to use that. The 5% speed control makes me able to get to those cuts, get to those sniper's angles nice and quickly. Now moving on to the magazine, guys, we use the 7 round magazine. You know, you could actually switch it up and uh, go to the fast bang as well. But me personally, guys, I actually usually use the 7 round mag just so I can be going for more feeds and I don't have to reload as uh, much when I'm using the sniper. Then going off to the handle, this is one of the most important attachments you can actually use on the sniper, guys. Mainly just for that 25% flinch resistance. So if I'm getting shot in a gunfight, you know, my character won't jitter or jump as much. You know, he's going to be making sure he's locking down that sight, locking down the angles every time. So the last attachment I use on the sniper is the Raider pad stock. Mainly I use this attachment, guys, because we're sprinting around the map, you know, going for certain quick scopes. Sometimes you will get caught sprinting around, so that 30% uh, sprint to fire time will save your life sometimes. Jumping to the attachments for the DM Modi, firstly on the muzzle, I use the muzzle brake 9. Going on to the barrel, I like to use a 7.8 extended barrel. Then moving on to the magazine, I like to use a 24 round magazine. The last attachment I use on the handle is the airborne elastic wrap. Aim down sight speed 30% and it's also going to give me that 90% flinch resistance. Moving on to the tactical, now I like to use the flashbang. Moving on to the lethal, you know, I like to use the sticky grenade. You know, the sticky grenade can actually help you get out of those sticky situations. Then lastly, for the field upgrade, I like to use the trophy system. Moving on to the perks now, the first perk I like to use is the tactical mask. Then moving on to the second perk, I use scavenger. Lastly, for the third perk, I like to use ninja. Then for the last wild card, I use the gunfighter. This is one of the most important wild cards you can use because going back to the primary attachments and snipers, I wouldn't be able to put all those attachments on my sniper class. So that's how I like to set up my sniper loadout, guys. Just wanted to shout out a big thank you to Scuff for powering today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you're down and leave a comment down below to see what kind of loadout you guys want to break down next.